At the beginning of this video, we talked about the professional designation for engineers in Ontario. This, as you recall, is professional engineer or PNG. And you can't call yourself an engineer without this designation. But what does it mean for you if you don't have it? Well, in each province or territory in Canada, legislation defines what is meant by engineering work. In order to perform engineering work, you must hold the PEDENG designation or be working under a supervisor with the PEDENG designation. In a research survey OSPE conducted, we found that employers and international engineering graduates both ranked the PEDENG designation high in importance. Engineering employers view the PEDENG designation as confirmation that educational qualifications align with Canadian standards. But let us not forget what we spoke about regarding soft skills and core engineering competencies. Holding the Pete Eng designation doesn't guarantee a job for you. You still need to promote your soft skills in job interviews. To acquire the PEng designation, you must go through several stages with PEO. First, you must submit an application to PEO. You have to include any academic documentation you have, such as a copy of your degree, transcripts, course descriptions, and other documents listed in PEO's Application for Licensure Guide. If any of these documents are in another language, before submitting them to PEO, you must have them translated according to the guidelines set out by PEO on their website. When you submit your application, you will also be required to pay an application fee. If you submit your application within six months of your landing date in Canada, the application fee may be waived by PEO. Contact PEO for further details. The next stage is PEO's assessment of your application. They'll determine if your degree or degrees are equivalent to a four-year Bachelor of Engineering degree. Please note that PEO doesn't accept credential assessments verified by external service providers. PEO will do their own assessment of your credentials. After PEO reviews your application and before you are able to move on to the next stage of the licensing process, you may be assigned technical exams, or you may be invited to prove your technical skills through an interview with PEO's Experience Requirements Committee. If you pass the technical exams or the interview, you'll receive a letter from PEO indicating you're eligible to write the Professional Practice Exam, otherwise known as the PPE. If you're not successful in the interview, you'll be assigned technical exams that you'll need to pass before you can write the PPE. The PPE is a three-hour essay-based exam on law and ethics in the Canadian and Ontario workplace. This is an exam that all engineers must write in order to get licensed. Now let's talk about PEO's work experience requirements. During all of the stages above, you can be working towards obtaining your Canadian work experience requirements. PEO requires a total of four years of work experience. A maximum of three years will be accepted from outside of Canada, but these will be evaluated by PEO to ensure they meet PEO's work experience criteria. The last year of your work experience must be completed in Canada under a supervisor who has a PEDENG. The experience will be evaluated to ensure that it falls within the engineering requirements. PEO evaluates your engineering experience against five quality-based criteria. We'll go over these in more detail a little later on. Currently, there is no limit on when the work experience must be achieved. Please note that after you've passed the PPE, if you still require a year of Canadian work experience, you can apply for a provisional license with PEO. You can get a provisional license if you've got three years of accepted work experience and are only in need of the one year of Canadian work experience. You can read more about the PNG licensing process on the PEO website at peo.on.ca. Also take a look at their engineering intern program while you're there. We should also mention that OSPI offers the following programs to help people through the licensing process. A workshop to assist you in preparing your experience record document, technical exam preparation courses, and PPE prep courses. So be sure to check out OSPI's website regularly.